So repeat after me. Now, if you start to say you forgive your parents and you feel angry while doing it, do not let that stop you. And if you do feel that, you need to go and see my video from yesterday. It's called The Heart of Man because God wants to deal with your heart. So if you have problems um, repeating this, please go back and um, listen to the video I did yesterday. It's a little long. It's like an hour and, and 30 minutes, 38 minutes, something like that. But I promise you, it will bless you. It will help you. Um, it's not me. It's God gave me that to give to you all. So, like I said, if you're having problems repeating these, please, 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 please go back and listen to the video from yesterday on 1 June. It's in my, uh, you know, it's going to be on YouTube if you can't find it anywhere else. It'll be on YouTube and Twitch. So, um, repeat these prophetic utterances and forgiveness um, statements. I guess statements, I could say. So, I forgive my father and mother for provoking me to wrath. I forgive my father and mother for staring up and provoking me to anger by the way they treat me and talk to me. I forgive my father and mother for punishing for pushing me to the point of resentment with demands that are trivial, unreasonable, humiliating, or abusive. I forgive my father and mother for pushing me to the point of resentment by showing favoritism or indifference. I forgive my father and mother for frustrating me with no win scenarios. I forgive my father and mother for not training me in the admonition and the instruction that comes from the Lord. I forgive my, fa my father and mother for not bringing me up tenderly and with loving kindness. I forgive my father and mother for not taking me by the hand and leading me in the way of the Lord. My father and mother shall not provoke me to wrath. My father and mother shall not stir up or provoke me to anger by the way they talk or treat me. My father and mother shall not push me to the point of resentment with demands that are trivial, unreasonable, humiliating, or abusive. My father and mother shall not push me to the point of resentment by showing favoritism or indifference. My father and mother shall not frustrate me with no-win scenarios. My father and mother shall bring me up in the training, in the admonition, in the instruction that comes from the Lord. My father and mother shall bring me up tenderly with, the, with loving kindness. My father and mother shall take me by the hand and lead me in the way of the Lord. So even if your parent is not a follower of Jesus Christ, you still say these things. You still confess these over your parents. You forgive your parents. And you confess, you know, the other ones over yourself, regardless of that. So I just wanted to share those scriptures and prophetic utterances. And I want you to repeat them over yourselves um, and things like that. So now what I had did was I was praying about the um, video tonight and everything. And I was like, okay, God, 
what do you want me to, what do you have to say to the young black men and boys that are at risk of being affected by black on black gun violence? God says this, he wants to be your savior. He wants to be your helper. He wants to be your deliverer. He wants to be Lord over your life. He wants to be your master. He wants to be your healer. So I was in my little quiet time and God was putting that in my spirit. You know, he was letting me know this. Then uh, this song came to mind. It called, The song came in my spirit. It's called Savior by Affy, A-F-Y, Douglas. So that is your homework. I want you to find that song by Affy Douglas. And um, I would play it, but I don't want it to mess up copyright or take off the video and things like that. So I don't know how that or how that goes because I'm just getting used to this continual live stuff. So I'm not going to play it. But again, it's called Savior. And then it's the live version. It's on YouTube. You can see the video on the YouTube. Just type in Savior, um, Affy, A-F-Y, Douglas, D-O-U-G-L-A-S. Um, and it's also like one, I listen to it on Apple Music too. And But some of the words of the song is this, right? And it confirms what God gave me to, to say, to that he wants to say to you, you know. He, some of the words of the song says, the man you saved has come to worship you. So he's the, uh, the singer, he is saying this to God. The man you saved has come to worship you. And then he says, the man you helped has come to worship you. The man you helped has come to worship you. And then another one says, the man you healed has come to worship you. The man you healed has come to worship you. So I thought it was just like, okay, Lord, thank you for this. So, um, of course, in my scenario, my situation, I say, like, the girl you saved or whatever, like that. But um, just those words, the man you saved has come to worship you. He's so the man. So the, the guy that's singing the song, he is saying that he is going to worship Jesus. The man you saved has come to worship you. The man you helped has come to worship you. The man you healed has come to worship you. And then like the, um, the man you delivered has, has come to worship you. And I speak that over your life as I'm saying it. I prophesied to that to you. God shall heal you. He shall save you. He shall deliver you. Now. Do you want Jesus to be your savior? Do you want Jesus to be your master, your deliverer, your helper? Those things that I just said. Do you want Jesus to be, to be this in your life? Do you want Jesus to be?